Well, good morning, everyone. I am Chaplain Joy Stevens, and I'm with Good News Jail and Prison Ministry. This is a ministry that has been around for over 50 years, in fact, 55 years, and we have the unique niche of training and placing correctional chaplains all over the world. We are in 100 facilities in the United States. We are in countries such as Egypt and Pakistan, Venezuela, Cuba, places that you really would not expect there be to be a Christian chaplain. But what our job is as chaplains is to have a ministry presence uh, full-time in a facility meeting the spiritual needs of inmates. And we have the opportunity in the United States of ministering to over 60,000 a day, over 600,000 a year. It's an incredible ministry. Well, I have been at it for a year or two. In fact, I started in 1996. And the thing that I have noticed throughout the years that is just shockingly noticeable is the number of women that I have talked to that have deep, deep trauma in their life. And I would hear their trauma and sense their hopelessness. They didn't know what to do with it. They felt stuck. They felt that it was just a definition of who they were. Well, about uh, 11 months ago, um, in fact, about three years ago, we actually did some research on, on incarceration, and we found that 97% of women that are in jail and prisons in our nation have a background of trauma. That's almost every one. And Rutgers University just did a study, and they found that 75% of men that are incarcerated have a trauma background. And in fact, this is their pathway into incarceration is untreated trauma. Well, that's quite a dilemma in our nation. And it wasn't being addressed. Well, I was sent a, a book from the president of our ministry, John Evans, and it was a book with a heart on the front called Trauma Healing. And I began to just devour this book and see that it's such an entrance uh, into the very, from starting from the very beginning, where was God when I was suffering? And then going each step along the way. And not only giving them the uh, opportunity to talk about their trauma, but also what to do with their trauma, taking their trauma to the cross, doing art exercises, finding a trusted person to talk to, lamenting. So I was intrigued by this material and talked to the powers to be with our ministry and decided that I was going to go through training. And I've met many of you in this room through that process of I'm on my way to be, become a master facilitator and take this back into our jails and prisons. Well, I went back after the first initial class and I have done like 11 trauma healing classes in four different jails, three different states. And right at this point, I'm only working with women that will change. But what I found was so astounding, the impact that this class and trauma healing had on these hardcore women. And I'm talking hardcore women, women that were probably going to be sent away for life for first degree murder. Uh, women that have had abuse from the time they were little girls all the way through. Uh, just really hardened women because of the things that had happened to them. And to see how this, for the first time, they were actually able to express what had happened to him, them, and that it had really made a difference in their life, the trauma that had happened. Well, I am so um, intrigued with this material. I really want to truly devote the rest of my life to doing trauma healings in the jails and prisons. But the thing that stands out most to me in, in this trauma healing is once they've dealt with some of the stuff that has kept them bound and, and addicted for so many years, once they have begun to deal with that, then suddenly their view of God is no longer distorted. And they're able to hear and receive the gospel in purity. I've seen more women come to Christ after trauma healing classes. And they're able to receive the purity of the word in their life with nothing blocking the way. Where well, our goal now is to take trauma healing into all the 100 facilities where we have chaplains. We're gonna train chaplains and volunteers. Uh, this 600,000 inmates a year uh, will have the opportunity, many of them to go through trauma healing. We'll eventually take it internationally. But I can tell you that we've all decided that this trauma healing is the missing piece in working in corrections. And we're so delighted to be able to take this in. 
I'll give you just a very brief um, testimony uh, from a, this is a kite that was sent to me from a woman that had taken the class. Uh, she had been traumatized from little girl all the way through. It was in a horribly ab abusive relationship. And she said, um, you know, even though my circumstances haven't changed, I feel truly blessed. The trauma class has moved me more than anything in my life. It is so odd to feel free and light while still in jail. Thank you.